So uh, October is a special month uh, for me. Uh, well, as it is for you all, because it's Halloween. But for me, it has an extra special meaning uh, connected to my grandmother. Now, my grand—I don't believe in like ghosts or you know uh, all of that uh, stuff or vampires or maybe Frankenstein, but none of the rest of that stuff, right? And my grandmother was a great believer in my uncle Manuel, and the rest were great believers in psychic visions. And so my grandmother would always tell me about her psychic visions. Like she said, I have a vision of, I, I had a dream last night, Robert, and I said, well, what was your dream, Grandma? Because I, you know, when she got to be older, I was driving her around, so she would tell me about her dreams. She goes, what was your dream, Grandma? She goes, I dreamed that your father and you were lifting up the couch, and I looked in the couch and I found these diamond rings that your father had given me for Christmas. So it was a vision and I found them. I said, wow, that's amazing, Grandma. Or she, one night she told, I said, how you doing? And, and she goes, I had a dream last night, Robert. I said, what was your dream? She goes, I dreamed I was a hamburger. I, one of those good kinds with a lot of onions cooking and I could smell myself and it, it, it had ketchup and, and tomato. My grandmother was really into food. And uh, lettuce and stuff. And I said, Really? Well, what happened? And she goes, well, when they flipped me with the spatula, I flipped out of bed and woke up. <laughs> and I said, what does that mean? And she says, it probably means that you haven't taken me to lunch in a while. So I took her to Golden Corral, right? And she told me that, uh, so she, she was telling me, and she would say, something, something's going to happen in October. You're going to lose something and find something. And I thought, oh, really? Uh, I, don't, I don't think anything's going to happen. She goes, yeah, it'll happen. So uh, I got invited at the last minute to go to the Rocky Horror Picture Show right? on, on Halloween. Yeah, wasn't that great, right? Uh, with some people who had never been to Rocky Horror before and didn't know that people would participate, right? So people are talking in the movie, and they're going, why are these people talking? I can't hear the film, you know? It was great. And I was going to go home right after that, so I met the people there, uh, which was, uh, was my friends, and then a couple of ladies who uh, I didn't know, who were both named Monica, right? Which was, that was great. I didn't have to remember a lot of names, you know? And so uh, afterwards, though, I couldn't find my car keys. I'd lost them somehow. And uh, so I asked uh, one of the Monicas to give me a ride. So she gave me a ride back, and we got to talking, right? And eventually we started going out. And this was the Monique I found because I ended up marrying her, right? So Rocky Horror became, I know, isn't that great? I went to Lost and Found, by the way, the next day. And I found my keys, right? But also, you wouldn't believe how many people leave left shoes in Lost and Found. How do you go away with no shoe, right? You know, so I, I imagine they had an even better time at Rocky Horror than I did. Anyway, thank you. Thank you.